So if you would have told me like a year ago that I would be going to a hearing aid consult today, I, d I don't know that I would have believed you. I mean, I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked. It's just crazy how much degeneration I've had and under your time that I need that now. And I guess what's frustrating is that I'm about to spend, you know, a minimum of a few thousand dollars on something that I might not even be able to use eventually because, and I, I read this in my doctor's notes yesterday, it was a little stark, but I, I, I knew, I know it's a reality that I might end up not even being able to use hearing aids because it's it it could degenerate so badly with this distortion that I have that cochlear implants or cochlear, I don't know, tomato, tomato, might be the next step. Um, and he said that in his notes that, you know, this could, unfortunately, the trajectory with what I have with this distortion, um, that could be by destination and how quickly we're going to get there. I don't know. I could be there within a year's time or so. I mean, I want to get something powerful enough today, you know, that will really help me if it continues to go down, that's going to be more money. And then I could spend all that money and then it could be useless in a year, three years. I don't know. Now, I'm, I'm thankful that my husband and I are in a place where, you know, we're going to be okay. And I'm going to be able to afford what I need, but there are some people that are not that, that fortunate. And so, um, if you want to help, what I would ask that you would do is go to my website. I have a link there where you can donate money. I have a fundraiser set up where you can donate money to a charity that helps people get hearing aids who can't afford them. Um, I, I have a sweet spot for people that are old and alone and need help. And I can't imagine trying to do this on your own without, I mean, insurance barely help. So we have really good insurance and it, there's a minimum of what it will help with. So, um, I'm thankful. I don't, I'm not going to need help, but there are people that need help with this. And the frustrating thing is it might be something super expensive. They buy that with Meniere's disease might be something that they end up can't even, that they, they can't even use it eventually. So anyway, I'm nervous today. Um, I cried yesterday <laughs> during my audio test. I'm fully prepared to, I mean, I'm just, I mean, it's fine. I'm, I get emotional often. So with this, so, um, I don't know. I'm a little scared today and nervous and all the things. And I know it's going to be a frustrating process to even get used to them and try to figure out how to use them. So this could be an interesting journey.